This movie has been stuck in neutral for years, and just when it looked like we were going to hit warp speed, the director jumped ship. So grab your popcorn and phasers, because we're going to break down everything we know about Star Trek IV. Has Star Trek IV been cancelled? The future of Star Trek IV is yet to be officially confirmed or cancelled, leaving fans clinging to their tractor beams for news. But never fear, even though things may look bleak, work on a potential new Enterprise adventure is still underway. Back in March, producer extraordinaire J.J. Abrams said the search for a new director to boldly go where no Trek has gone before is ongoing. He promised an exciting new story, just as thrilling as the first reboot film. Of course, Chris Pine did call the franchise curse, so it's anyone's guess if things will actually pan out. Fingers crossed. One thing is for sure though, Star Trek IV won't be warping into theaters in December 2023 as originally planned. Damn Klingon Raiders. Now, earlier in 2022, it looked like smooth sailing when Abrams and director Matt Shackman were on board. But then Shackman jumped ship for the Marvel mothership Fantastic Four. Boo! Now, in September, the movie got pulled from the schedule entirely. But fret not, the mission to find a new captain continues. So while we anxiously await any truck transmission, let's review everything we know so far about the potential return of the USS Enterprise crew. Star Trek IV cast – Who is going to be in Star Trek IV? Even when Star Trek IV was on the books for 2023, the return of the Kelvin Timeline reboot cast was never 100% locked in. However, back in 2022, Paramount's head honcho Brian Robbins did express that he knew Trekkies would want to see Chris Pine, Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, Carl Urban, John Cho, and Simon Pegg back as the iconic Enterprise crew. So if a fourth movie blasts off, the odds are good that Kirk, Spock, Uhura, Bones, Sulu, and Scotty will all be on board for one more mission. In particular, Carl Urban seems extremely enthusiastic about suiting back up as the cantankerous Dr. McCoy. Though like Pine, he hadn't glimpsed a script yet as of early 2022. Fingers crossed Starfleet Command transmits orders to bring the bridge crew soon. Now, originally the plan was for Chris Pine's Kirk to team up with his deceased father, played by Chris Hemsworth, in some kind of a timey-wimey adventure. But Hemsworth later revealed he disembarked because the concept didn't feel fully formed yet. However, he seems open to beaming back aboard if the idea is retooled. Now, it is unclear whether this new take on Star Trek IV will include Hemsworth or if it's charting a totally different course altogether. We also don't know yet if the role of Chekhov will be recast following Anton Yelchin's untimely passing in 2016. The cast all seem eager for a reunion, but only time will tell if the Enterprise crew gets to embark on one more voyage. Here's hoping they get the chance to seek out new life and civilizations together on the big screen again soon. Keep watching as we still have more on the plot of Star Trek IV. Star Trek IV Plot – What's Going to Happen in Star Trek IV When Star Trek IV was first announced, even the stars were surprised, since no plot details existed. Paramount's plan was to secure funding first, then worry about the story later. Easier said than done in space. Early on, there was a lot of chatter about some possible ideas. J.J. Abrams even had conversations with Quentin Tarantino about him writing a Trek film, although Tarantino ultimately decided it wasn't his final frontier. Now, one big possibility involved bringing Chris Hemsworth back as George Kirk from the 2009 reboot, but Hemsworth later felt that the time travel storyline wasn't quite what he had envisioned. This version of the script it made far enough through development to actually reach the actors. In an interview with Josh Horowitz, Hemsworth explained how he felt about the story, saying, It wasn't what I was thinking it would have been or could have been, and I thought, oh cool, let's figure that out and keep going, and then I think everyone just got busy and so on. It'd be a bit weird now to flash back to your father and why is he so much older than when he died? Clearly the plot didn't engage everyone at warp speed. So that pitch was scrapped and writers began working on a direct sequel to Beyond instead, hoping to reassemble the cast for more Kelvin timeline adventures. Things were steady as she goes, but then director Matt Shackman departed for Fantastic Four and Paramount pulled the space dock release date. Again, damn Klingons. Now, recent rumors provide some hope, though. Sophia Boutella said she would happily return, and Nicolas Cage declared himself a Trekkie, leading to dreams of him playing a villain. With a dash of Cage, anything is possible. The journey to Star Trek IV has certainly been long and winding, but like Enterprise emerging from an ion storm, the future is still unclear but full of infinite possibilities. Stay tuned as there is still more. Will Star Trek IV recast Chekhov? Pavel Chekhov, played by Anton Yelchin, was a beloved character in the Kelvin Timeline Star Trek films. 
Tragically, Yelchin passed away in 2016 before the release of Star Trek Beyond. His absence has been deeply felt by fans and castmates alike. In 2022, Zoe Saldana remarked that a fourth film would be bittersweet without Yelchin there, but getting the Star Trek family back together would honor his memory. However, that version of Star Trek IV is no longer happening. Still, Saldana's comments suggest that Paramount won't recast Chekhov. Producer J.J. Abrams stated in 2016, shortly after Yelchin's death, that there was no replacing him or recasting the role, which he deserved better than. Years later, there has been no indication that a new Chekhov will appear. While emotions were raw when Abrams said they wouldn't replace Yelchin, it seems the character's legacy will remain intact. Now, the cast and fans continue to feel Yelchin's absence profoundly, but the spirit of the brilliant actor lives on through past Star Trek adventures and in the hearts of those who loved him. His contributions won't be forgotten. Star Trek IV Potential Release Date When can we expect Star Trek IV? As you know, Star Trek IV was indefinitely delayed from its original December 2022 release date, and there has been no official word on a new premiere time frame. Back in June of 2022, Paramount head Brian Robbins confirmed that development was underway, saying things were nearing the starting line, sounding hopeful. But in November of 2022, Zachary Quinto threw cold water on it, saying nothing feels real about a new movie happening soon. A disappointing outlook. However, Paramount did previously say Star Trek IV's theatrical date for June 9th, 2025. Given it's still just a script and has no cast yet, a two-plus year wait from now seems reasonable based on past Trek timelines. Of course, any major delays in getting production rolling could push that back to 2025 if needed, and Paramount likely has some wiggle room thanks to announcing it it's so far out. So while the future is unclear, summer 2025 seems the earliest that we could potentially expect to boldly go on a new big screen Enterprise adventure. But with all the uncertainty, Starfleet Command may delay our next voyage even further into the future. So who is directing Star Trek IV? One big reason Star Trek IV remains adrift in space is the struggle to find a captain for the Enterprise's next voyage. Initially, Quentin Tarantino explored an exciting 1930s gangster concept, but his vision never fully warped into action. Kind of a bummer. S.J. Clarkson was said to make history as the first female Trek director, but she disembarked when the Hemsworth left in 2018. Noah Hawley also worked on a Trek with new characters, but Paramount nicked a non-Enterprise crew. Oof. And most recently, Matt Shackman of WandaVision took the helm. However, Marvel lured him back for the Fantastic Four instead. So for now, Star Trek IV is floating without a captain to guide it. The mission to find the right visionary to continue Kirk's legacy remains ongoing. But like the resilient Enterprise surviving an ion storm, the future is still filled with infinite possibilities. So where can you watch the previous Star Trek movies? While we hold out hope for the Enterprise's next adventure, now is the perfect time to revisit the action-packed reboot trilogy. To see the iconic crew's origin story as Kirk, Spock, Uhura, and more first came together, you can stream the 2009 Star Trek film on Paramount Plus or rent it for just a few bucks on major platforms or beam aboard Spock and Kirk's thrilling manhunt for a mysterious villain who is definitely not Khan in Star Trek Into Darkness, also available on Paramount Plus and to rent digitally. And don't miss their epic showdown with a nasty swarm of Beetlejuice in Star Trek Beyond streaming on Paramount Plus or available cheaply on digital rental.